This is Shay Veronica. I'm going to read you some messages I got about concerns over the island constables. And please bear with me because, as usual, it's not well written. And if I had pearls, I'd be ripping the pearls off my neck every day because it's really hard for me to decipher if what I am seeing and reading and taking in is correct or not correct because one word one word could be missing from a sentence and it changes the whole flavor of things but bear with me here we go good morning naked i would like you to do an article on the island constables of barbados it has a lot to do with the police not paying overtime money for constable duties during the pandemic this is like a year and five months and the senior superintendent Williams who retired had pay sheets and never did anything about paying money about paying the monies also back pay for raises that were to be given before the pandemic when the labor laws about minimum wage came into effect has yet to be given to the island constables and that is by law and they're breaking the law. They say the constables were the first police of Barbados and now they work side by side with police and still they get no respect. The Attorney General of Barbados is playing hide and seek. He makes meetings to discuss the issues and he makes statements in the paper on dealing with the issues and nothing ever gets done. This is going three years and nothing from so-called Attorney General. Okay, this. And then I asked for a photo of this Williams and I went on Google and I pulled up a photo and I sent it to this person and I said is this the Williams you're talking about and he said yes uh, his face says it all the island constables deserve more and better the island constables deserve deserve more okay and he's this person is trying to say that the island constables protect the beaches and the tourists who come to barbados and they help in solving crimes this is what he's trying to say but what is written is something completely different and i hope i am interpreting it correctly what he what this person actually wrote was the island constables deserve more and better protection the beaches for tourists to come to barbies and the streets that's what is written but i think what is trying to be communicated here is the island constables deserve more because they protect the beaches and the tourists who come to barbados and they help and they help solve crimes on the street i Please, I think that's what is being trying to be communicated here. They are deployed along with special constables on the beaches because I asked him, I asked the person, what do you mean? It's all jumble. And he said, they are deployed along with special constables on the beaches. If you check crime on beaches against tourists, they are down because of island constables and special constables. The Attorney General needs to help in this matter. He needs to do his job. He needs to give them their raises, meaning island constables, and pay more security to work with after they retire. And, and pay more security to work with after they retire. Please, you can figure it out. But that's what I got. So that's it. That's it. It's it's a it's a concern. It's not written well, but that's what we do. We I put things out there for you to know what's going on in Barbados and it seems as though 
someone is concerned about the treatment island constables of Barbados are receiving, they need to get back pay, some kind of back pay, and they need to get money from all the overtime they did during the pandemic. I think that's the main thing. And he's person saying that the attorney general is not doing his job. Just talk, big talk, all talk. I'm going to get to the bottom of this kind of talk. Nothing happens. And then the guy who was in charge of all the paperwork concerning the back pay and all that kind of stuff, Oral Williams, he retired and went home and nothing was done. So they are in limbo. That's, that's, that's the baseline of what was being communicated to me. And that's it. Share Veronica.